Am I the asshole? For going on vacation when my in-laws visit. My husband and I have been married for 23 years. I've always had kind of an iffy relationship with my sil because she's made it known for years that she wishes my husband married his college girlfriend and not me. Over the years we got to the point where I wouldn't call us super close but we were friendly enough to text and would hang out solo when one of us visited the other. Last year my Phil got very sick and needed specialized care. My husband wanted him to live with us during his treatment and during recovery and I agreed. Sil made it clear she did not want him at her house. I was able to go part-time at work during this time and so by nature I became the primary caregiver. It wasn't fun but I did care for my Phil and was happy that he and my husband had time together. On the other hand my in-laws, especially my Sil became a problem. My Bill and Sil were very much in denial when it came to his health. When my Phil had appointments I would keep everyone informed mostly via a text chain because it was easier and mostly stayed out of decision making because he's not my father and I wanted to respect that. Sil Bill started treating me like hired help. Example when Phil needed to go to a skilled rehab facility after a stay in the hospital I ran around touring facilities and spent hours on the phone and when I let everyone know my findings my Sil said we'll discuss as a family and get back to you. Excuse me? I guess I'm not family. Instances like this happened more and more and neither Bill or Sil made any effort to come see their dying father. When I would occasionally express my feelings to Sil said this doesn't concern you, go get your nails done or something. Eventually my Phil passed away and I cut off all contact with my in-laws. There was no blowout, I just stopped responding to the group chat and stopped actively trying to be in their lives and made my husband start shopping for birthday gifts, etc. for them and told him to leave my name off the cards. My husband wasn't thrilled about the rift but understood where I was coming from and I told him many, many times that he can have whatever relationship he wants with them, just leave me out of it. A few weeks ago my Sil sent me a text apologizing for everything because she was in denial about my Phil and she hopes I'm doing fabulous. I sent her a message back acknowledging her apology and thanking her for the time and effort she put into reflecting on the situation but didn't initiate further conversation. My Sil now wants to come to visit and stay with us for a few days. I told my husband she's welcome to stay but I will be going to see my best friend during that time. My husband was taken aback and said he understands but it really upsets him that I want nothing to do with her and it's not realistic for me to avoid her forever. I really do not want anything to do with people who don't consider me family. So, am I the asshole? Not the asshole. A quick apology from Syl doesn't erase the years of horrid treatment from her and your husband allowing it to happen. Tell your husband that it's not realistic of him to expect you to want to be around Syl when your husband allowed her to treat you worse than hired help, you were unpaid, unappreciated help, and treated like trash. And he let it happen. Not the asshole. She's not family. When she visits, please go visit people who like and respect you. Also, I think her apology is fake. She is apologizing because she wants a free place to stay when she visits. My husband was taken aback and said he understands but it really upsets him that I want nothing to do with her and it's not realistic for me to avoid her forever. No, it is realistic to avoid her. People do it all the time. There is no rule that you have to spend time with terrible people. Cut her out, take care of yourself and enjoy seeing your best friend. Not the asshole. Nadar. Your husband is though. He should have stood up for you. He's in the wrong even now. You gave your Phil loving and dependable care while he was dying. They owe you for the rest of their lives. Not the asshole. It's great she is coming around and reflecting on the past and trying to mend the relationship but you don't have to mend it on her terms just cause she is ready. It sounds like you did a lot for Bill and Syl caring for their sick father in his final moments. It's shocking they were not appreciative during that time. Does your husband have any idea just how disrespectful and disgraceful saying, go get your nails done or something, 
was after you went to part-time to take care of his father, he is wrong that it isn't realistic to avoid her forever. In my opinion he's lucky you aren't avoiding him forever. Not the asshole. Not the asshole frankly the biggest one here is your husband. He had you work part-time and care for his dying father. Never fielded the abuse. Never advocated. Wants to go wide-eyed with surprise when you don't want to spend time with people who threw your sacrifice in your face. And the fact that he feels so entitled to behave this way, with apathy and shock and anger annoyance, shows that he too is throwing your sacrifice back in your face. Not the asshole. A text apology for her SHT behavior? Just no. She doesn't get to text sorry and magically fix your relationship. You acknowledged her apology you didn't say no problem, we're besties again now. If she wants to make amends, she can take you out to lunch if you're receptive and give you the fulsome apology you deserve. And if you're not receptive, she's just out of luck. Enjoy your visit with your friend. Heavily not the asshole. You owe this woman nothing and your husband needs to understand fully what she put you through. You cared for their father and she was still mean to you. The damage is done as far as I'm concerned. You owe her nothing. Not the asshole. It's nice she finally grew up. That and five dollars will get her a cup of coffee. It does not, however, get her a relationship with you at this point. Damn. I wish your husband would have stood up for you. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. From what you describe you were treated abysmally by your husband's family. Your husband is an R for not standing up for you. And she is an R for treating you as a serf and saying you are not part of the family. Have a nice few days with your friend. Not the asshole. If she asks why you're not there or whatever, simply say I went to go get my nails done like you suggested. Smile and walk off. It's like I tell my four-year-old, saying I'm sorry to someone you hurt is a good thing but it doesn't always magically fix what you did. Sometimes things stay broken because no one has to put up with anyone's mistreatment. No one has to accept an apology. He understands it, surely you still can. Husband is the spineless R. She needs to go to an Airbnb. Do not leave your car home. Not the asshole. Why is your husband letting your sill into your home after everything that happened? And for a few days, he could have said no. She can stay in a hotel. Your husband and her can meet somewhere. Your husband would have a big problem to deal with if I was you. Not the asshole, Sill doesn't just get to apologize for her treatment of you while taking care of Phil and expect everything to be normal again. Denial or not, you didn't deserve that kind of treatment. My petty self would go out with best friends to get our nails done since Sill suggested it once before, but I'm petty AF. Husband needs to understand that you will set boundaries with his family and he needs to respect them. Not the asshole if you aren't considered family you don't need to be there time doesn't change how they acted.